Hi guys, this video is going to cover curling leaves on Pilea peperomoides and how it affects them. So the Chinese money plant or Pilea peperomoides is really popular and it's quite unique looking because it's got lovely round green leaves that sit out on big stalks or petioles. One of the things that people complain about is sometimes the leaves don't stay flat, they curl and this can spoil the look of the plant in many people's opinions. Now there is a lot of confusion and conflicting information about why Pilea peperomoides gets curled leaves. So this video is really just to share my experience and my thoughts and opinion about why these plants get curled leaves and how I think you can go about fixing your plant. My name is Andrew from Smart Garden Guide and I hope you enjoy this video. So starting off, we've got our Pilea peperomoides here and generally most of the leaves are pretty flat and round and it's quite healthy, but it does have a few curled leaves, particularly at the top. Um, the leaves can curl in a number of ways. So firstly, the leaf edges can curl upwards. So they can, so they curl upwards and it forms like a cup shape. Secondly, the leaves can curl downwards, the edges can curl downwards and you get a dome shaped leaf. And the third way that they can curl is you get a mixture of this pattern so you get waviness of the leaf or just irregularities that take away from the flatness. And I think the pattern of the curling can tell you some information about why the plant as a whole is getting curled leaves. So we're just going to run through some of the common causes and what I think you should do to try and fix your plant. So first of all, we'll start with the most obvious reason and um, a reason that isn't a problem, and that's new leaves. So when new leaves emerge from your Pilea peperomoides, they will be curled. So if you see curled leaves just at the top of the plant and it's the new delicate light green leaves emerging from the top of the stem, you've nothing to worry about. When the leaves emerge, they will grow in size over the space of a few weeks, maybe up to a month, and they'll slowly unfurl and flatten out can take a fair wee while from the flatten out, maybe up to four to six weeks. So if these are the only curled leaves in your plant, you've nothing to worry about. Just let it be and the plant will grow happily and the leaves will flatten out with time. Second reason is lighting. Um, these plants will curl their leaves in response to either too little light or too much light. I think where I've noticed this most particularly is in low light conditions. So in low lighting, they seem to form this dome shape with their leaves where the edges curl down and the center of the leaf sort of pokes upwards. And I think the reason why they do this is the plant's trying to maximize the amount of light that's falling onto the leaves. So by doming the leaf, um, you know, it's trying to collect as much light as possible. I noticed this whenever I bought one of these plants online and it had obviously been delivered in a package where the plant wasn't exposed to light for quite a few days. And when I opened it, the plant was generally healthy, but a lot of the leaves were quite significantly domed. Now, I just put this plant in good conditions in my home and over the space of a few weeks, the leaves flattened out. And certainly from things, uh, information that I've read online, low light seems to be a common cause of leaf curling and in particular doming. So you wanna make sure that your Pilea peperomoides is given bright indirect light because this will generally prevent leaf curling. You wanna avoid direct sunlight because this can damage or scorch the leaves and it can actually cause curling of the leaves as well. And similarly, you want to avoid putting your Pilea peperomoides in a dark corner because I think you will almost inevitably start to see some leaf curling after a while. So the second thing is watering. Um, Overwatering in particular seems to cause leaf curling. And again, I think this does tend to be where the leaves dome outwards. And this is caused because the plant absorbs an excess amount of water from the roots. It goes to the leaves, the leaves swell. And I suppose by distorting their leaf shape, they're able to hold more water. And that this is what I think causes the curling of the leaves in overwatering. Other signs of overwatering, of course, if you notice that the soil is very soggy all the time, um, or if the leaves generally start to turn yellow, that can be another sign of overwatering. Um, similarly, if your soil or your pot doesn't drain very well, it makes 
overwatering more likely. So you just want to take care with watering. Um, I've heard some conflicting reports about how much water these plants like. They do have some succulent tendencies, so they do hold water in their stems and their leaves are quite fleshy. So they tolerate underwatering reasonably well. So I would probably leave the top half of the soil to dry out before watering and always do check to see if your plant needs water before you water it. So the next one that I'm going to cover is temperature. A lot of houseplants prefer temperatures that are similar to our, the temperatures in our homes, 65 to 75, 80 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, but this plant, Pilea pepperomoides, actually prefers cooler temperatures in its native habitat. It sort of grows in sort of 55 to 65 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, which is about 13 to 18 degrees Celsius. So that's quite a bit cooler than a lot of other houseplants like it. And it does seem to get curled leaves if the temperature is too warm. So just watch that. So it's maybe worth putting your plant just somewhere a little bit cooler, um, you know, r rather than uh, you put it in a really warm room where it's maybe not going to be as happy as it, uh, you know, as it could be. So the next cause I'm going to cover is actually another watering issue. It's underwatering or inconsistent watering. So although these plants do have some succulent tendencies, they do need watered from time to time. Um, if the soil dries out completely, they will wilt and they will also try and conserve water by other means. And one of the ways that a lot of plants do this is they change the shape of their leaves to reduce evaporation or transpiration of water from their leaves. And Pilea peperomoides tends to curl their leaves up. So the leaf edges curl up, they form a cup shape and this decreases the surface area of the leaves and uh, you know, causes them to curl. The other thing that can cause curling, um, particularly if you're seeing um, curling that there's no real pattern, you know, their leaves seem to be curling in all different directions, is inconsistent watering. So if you underwater your plant and then overwater it and then maybe underwater it again, the plant doesn't really know what to do and the leaves are starved of water and then there's a, an excess water supply so that the plant takes up loads of water, the leaves change shape with all the water that they're taking on and then they dry out and then, and then again they're shrinking and they're, they're curling so they become deformed over time and of course the way to fix this is to just keep an eye on your plant every few days, feel the soil, check the condition of the plant, feel how heavy the pot is to see how much water is in it and water it once the, the top half of the soil dries out and you should generally avoid this problem. So. The next issue that I was going to discuss was actually humidity. Now, a lot of people have said that humidity can be a factor in leaf curling. I haven't really seen that with this plant or any of my other Pilea peperomoides. They seem to be quite tolerant of a range of humidity levels. I know that they prefer moderate to high humidity levels, but um, and a lot of plants in low humidity will develop leaf curling. Um, but I honestly haven't seen much of that with this plant. So those are my thoughts about leaf curling on Pilea peperomoides. I know this is a reasonably controversial and not desperately well understood topic. So a lot of you may disagree with my thoughts and opinions about the leaf curling. A lot of this is just based on what I've read and what I've experienced with my own plants. So. Please, if you have any um, ideas or questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much, guys. All the best. Bye now.